Seeing a little madness when it comes to March weather as we go into Friday. We've got some snow showers around the corner, something that we almost completely lacked in February. We have to go back all the way to January for our last meaningful snowfall over one inch of snow. You can see that snow shower activity heading into central Wisconsin everywhere else, including southern Wisconsin, avoiding the snow for now, but it won't be too long before it starts to stick. So spots highlighted in purple here will be under a winter weather advisory within a couple hours hours lasting all the way through 4 p.m. Friday. This is for several inches of snowfall south of US 20 and I 90. So uh, really anywhere kind of south of Byron, Oregon, uh, heading towards Rochelle. You're probably going to see more of a rain snow mix, if not just a little bit of snow in the afternoon impacts here. Not quite as great as the spots under that advisory. So as we turn to future track, we start off with maybe just a little rain overnight in northern Illinois. You can see that snow starting to stick already by two o'clock in the morning across southern Wisconsin. Then as we head towards sunrise, you can see that um, those heavier bands of snow sink south to about US 20. South of there, a bit more of a rain snow mix. And then there's that cutoff again throughout the rest of the morning. So steady snow, definitely some slushy roads stretching from Galena to Belvedere. South of US 20 may have some dryness going on. So you might avoid really anything until we get to the afternoon. A cold front moves through, so that is going to bring in a burst of heavier snow across all areas during the afternoon and then we quickly dry out going into tomorrow evening. I did have to nudge the snow totals up a little bit four plus basically right along the state line and north two to four inches of snowfall within that US 20 corridor and then maybe up to an inch of slushy snow mixed with rain south of US 20s so that may be just enough to slow you down a little bit. So be prepared for that afternoon burst of snow even if you're south of US 20 because as you can see, it may briefly fall heavily, so roads may get slushy pretty quickly. So throughout the day, to use a little caution, definitely drive a little slower, especially during the morning hours and again during that burst of snow in the afternoon. When it comes to temperatures, we're back to the 30s and we stay in the 30s for Saturday. We do get some sunshine, so some of that snow may be melting already by Friday evening as well as into Saturday itself. A little rain snow mix comes through on Sunday, doesn't really stick. And then rainy conditions ahead for Monday and Tuesday as temperatures spiked a little closer to 60 before dropping back down again. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we could be on an active stretch to round out the month of March. More chances for showers are coming late next week. And in the four degree guarantee, just a degree off a of bullseye for the second day in a row, pushing us closer and closer towards $90.